everyone in today's video i'm going to walk you through a framework called the embed chain that helps you to create an llm powered bot over any data set okay so it goes through an entire process of loading loading the data set chunking it creating embeddings and storing that in a vector database so we can actually input a single or multiple data set by using this function dot add and dot add local and as well as using the dot query for the answers to get the answers from the data data set all right so this framework was created by terry jade sign who actually did a great job on that and also the embed chain is built on the flowy stack Lang chain as the llm framework that blows blows chunk and index the data and also the open ais to create the embeddings the open ais at the llm to get the answers when the contest is given and the chroma of course as the data store vector store okay so the next thing is i'm going to walk you through that step by step on how to do this okay so first of all you can do that so i've already done that in I've created an example in the google collab you can do that choose the um, platform that you want to use you can either use the vs code or whatever you choose so we'll go we'll through this initial um, setup so you're gonna need pip install the embed chain all right and this is how it's used it's used to create a embeddings for the chunks and the api as the llm to get the answers when giving the the document okay so the next stage is to get the api key so you need to import the os and you're gonna create the environment variable you're gonna need your api keys so if you don't have that you go into here okay and you go to your api keys and you're gonna click on create secret key you're gonna hit on this one and you're gonna copy that okay and you're gonna paste it here all right so the next one is to import the api the app class from the embed chain okay and you're gonna use the dot add function to add the data set this is pretty pretty easy to do to to set up all right just some few lines of code so you from the embed chain you import the app and you create a, a variable you can name it whatever you want in this case the neighbor chatbot was named um, as the variable and it's assigned that to the app so you instantiate the, the bot and you use the dot add you add the online resources in this case some youtube so it can be a youtube video you get a link so if it is a pdf file you put in the link here so um, you can it can be a web page you get a link right so it can also be um, any format that you want you put a link here okay and it, so you can also embed a local resource that is for you that is a personal question and answer that you have that you already know about the data set you can put it there so in this case say who is a neighbor um Robbie Kent. so all right so any any type of question that you have in mind you just put it there okay so the next one is is there if okay so let's go to the next step oh okay so in this case you can so if you have these you know when you have some of the apps and you want to change the name you know the app can have some um, naming issues so you you can just use assign that to a different alias so from embed chain import app as so you can use any name just to avoid that conflict okay and now you create the now the app is created you start asking questions on that all right so this is pretty simple step so i'm going to walk you through that example of a code so you see how it works all right so the, as of now it supports youtube video if you get a youtube you see app dot add the youtube link and you put the link here all right pdf and it also supports web pages okay and it's also support text right all right so you can supply your 
your locals. It can be a text. You type in the information that you want to put in there. Okay. All right. And if you have the Q&A pairs, you can just do up to local, the Q&A, you put in your question and you write the answer there. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through it in the format here. All right, so I'm gonna attach the link to get this document, all right? So like we, go, we went through that, I, so this doesn't really need a GPU for this, okay? So you don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so you're going to do a pip install, you install. All right. For here, I'm going to put in API key once again. Put in your API key. And you create the embeddings. You load the embedding chain. Okay, you put the app, instantiate the app. And so this time I used a link, um, some resources from Warren Buffett as a demonstration. Okay. So I actually put a link of one of his videos and a PDF. Okay. Just for demonstration and one of uh, the investment links here. Okay. All right, and I added a um, Q&A pair that I already know. So I did who is Warren Buffett. All right, and I wrote the answers to that, okay? Warren Buffett is an American businessman and philanthropist. Okay, and I so at this point, you can see it's being successfully saved. The first one is broken into chunks of 38. The next document is 60 chunks. The third one is 89 chunks. And you can see that the information from this document already exists in the database. Okay, and it's printing out successfully saved for the Q&A question that I've now is ready to ask a question, all right? So worry chatbot.query, this is the name I actually gave it. It can be any other name. So how do you decide which stocks to buy? So based on um, creating that processes, embedding, creating the text into chunks and embedding that, storing that into a vector store, it gave me an answer, right? Based on the given context, the decision on which stock to buy should be based on finding an opportunity that is attractive and meets the investment standards of potential reward for the risks they are taking. The advice is to wait until an opportunity is or likely to lose money and to only invest in stocks that are attractive. Wow, this is so awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Yeah, so you can try that as well. Okay. Um, let me let me just ask a different question and see. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to say how um, do you determine where you make your donations? We just let's just like asking the question um, from Warren Buffett. Awesome. All right, so he's telling me the speaker det determines where to make their donation based on two criteria. The importance of, importance of the cost and the lack of a natural funding cost, constituency. They, they want to support causes that are big and important rather than making small donations here and there. Wow, this is so awesome. All right, so yeah, you can really see that it really works based on the document that you input in there. All right, so I'm gonna attach that in the link below. So these are some of the information that you can go through, right? So these are some questions. How does it work, right? So creating a chatbot over any data set needs the following steps to happen. You load the data, create meaningful chunks, create embeddings for each chunk, store the chunks in a beta store. So yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. You can just go through that, okay? All right. 
Um, yeah, so I, I hope this tool is still ongoing and I hope it really does a lot of great stuff and we are looking forward to that. So if you, I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next one.